We've got our hands full with this classic RV renovation. Where's my goggles? It is way too cold in Canada to keep this van build going, so we've packed up the car. Bye! Bye. Safe Bye. trips! Because if this van build's not done before spring, we'll miss RV buying season. And with the new addition to our family, we simply cannot afford to hang on to Sunny for much longer. So we're taking a pit stop in Virginia to get some reinforcements and set up shop to get this van build done. We gotta give a huge thank you to everybody who made our journey thus far very comfortable. Yes, yes, thank you guys so much. You've all been so amazing to us and we, we couldn't be more grateful than what we are today. And now, this. It's time to make it happen. Hi. That was the hardest window to take off. Was it? Well, it's because we just glued it on so good. It was good. extra sealed. We sealed it so well, but it was still broken. So we had to buy a brand new window because we broke the beading or something on the oh. other one. I know what else I'm gonna do today. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. Well, he's working on that. I'm hanging out with Everly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> We're doing tea and breakfast and emails. That's a nice window. It's a really pretty uh, window. That's good. What's cool All about right. this window no is problem. that you are. we'll be able to open it from the inside and then that will create like a full breeze through the whole entire rig, as well as when the cooktop is running, we could just crack this window and that will help release some of that heat. Yeah. You ready, Eric? I'm totally ready. Is it a perfect right. fit? Let's find out right now. Wow. I'm gonna go inside. Yeah. Yeah, it's a perfect fit. Ugh. Alright, hold that. That's such hold that a right relief. Down. You're doing a great job, Eric. I know. You <laughs> missed all the real work. Right? I saw you guys banging on it. That looks great though. Maybe we grab can you grab this tape measure? Mm-hmm. And just measure. Yeah, so yeah. it's a three-quarter piece. So that piece of pine we could use, Eric. The only issue I see with it is this might not be perfect on there so we might have to go from the inside and hit it with some uh like like the cut up top is definitely oh, some wider talk. yeah yeah so well, that's not a hard the, fix we'll have to go from the inside and, and seal it so that's not a big deal and if you're uh, gonna have it anywhere like put it yeah in we'll high. put it all the way high yeah. and then squish it in um because all the way high you're more likely to get leaves. leaks from the high yeah all right let's pop her out Good to go, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, look, look, that's actually the way to clean the window. Yeah. There we go. And it opens Is that the, all the way it opens? It opens the perfect amount where it doesn't hit the ladder. Yeah, perfect. That's awesome. What Hi. do you ladies think, huh? We are very impressed. You guys did a great job. Yeah. This window looks amazing. So good. Definitely better than the other one. Now we just have to hope and wish and pray that it doesn't leak. Now this is the next project right here. You really think that you can do the whole kitchen today too, Frank? I hope so. I don't know if this is going to work out, but we'll see. <laughs> Good thing I got Eric here to help me out because it definitely helps to have those extra hands and somebody you could think, you know, about My what's next. My hands are full. Yeah. You guys are doing a great job. Thanks, girls. Nice work. We're your, your cheerleaders like for the day. Jen and I are lounging in Iceco's new reclining chairs. They're super comfy, really well made. The quality is actually very nice. I love the ergonomics of the handles. I know. It's like, like design. That is classic. It's got a cup holder. And we can go all the way back. Ooh, oh. Just in case you want to chase the stars. That's lounging. That's pretty or the sun, because that's what I'm doing right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're really nice. Paco, what do you think? I love it. I think it's the best thing ever. And I love comfy chairs. It's my best favorite spot to sit. Yeah. 
Jen has introduced Everly to these dancing fruits on YouTube. She seems very into it. The music's okay, better than uh, Miss Rachel's screaming nursery rhymes at me. Not ready for that yet. So we're nice and comfy in here, kind of in and out doing stuff, and the boys are working hard outside. Maybe. Oh gosh, you're getting our, like. <laughs> Artistic. Perfect. Man, Eric's the man. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, no, you're cutting the wood. I know about that. Don't let him down for <laughs> that. Right, I mean, so Everly now. couldn't make cuts like that. She's not very good at woodworking at all yet. Honestly, it's close enough. Like right there, it's kind of perfect. And then I'll just shoot it up like that right now. Just Where's make it? sure you don't shoot into the nails you've already shot. Yeah, I did that right here. That's why there's a <gasps> pop in the thing. He there. shot directly into a nail. Of course. How do you do that? You did buy a lottery you, ticket honestly, that day. Yep, I, I should have. Are those uh, long enough? That's what I'm about to look at. No. I'm making sure they're not too long. How about that? It won't shoot Those all the way through. Ones, right? yeah. yeah, these are perfect. That's what I used last time, too. Michael, get out of there. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I might have to inch and a quarter if you want that extra. No, this is perfect. Oh, we're afraid for the countertop. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with an inch. <laughs> I've done this before. Sure. <laughs> I said, sure, yeah, you've done this yeah, before. Yeah, 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 right through uh -huh. it. Uh-huh, yep. You know exactly what you're doing, right through uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Huh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't play with me. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> All right, throw his hand. Just be careful where you're shooting, Frank. Don't Should get shoot over it right here on this one right here? I think you should. <laughs> so it would go right here, right? Yeah, flat against this piece, yeah, and then flat. flat against that piece. That's and then, it. And then tighten that down. Oh, is it go. eight degrees or is it like nine degrees? I don't know. Uh, Three good. degrees of Kevin Bacon. One degree of Kevin yeah, Bacon. Yeah, I mean, it looks like about like eight degrees. Yeah, eight degrees. Eight Math, degrees. guys, I'm telling you. Stay in school. Mm -hmm. Boys have been hard at work all day that it got nighttime on us. And they're still going. We've got some delicious coffees for you. Oh, okay. Keep you moving. This one's for Eric. Oh, here you, here you go, you. buddy. And we've got a black for you. Very nice. Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? It doesn't fit. fit. You're I'm just lying. gonna retry this several times, so. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth oh my god, that angle looks so good. Right? All right, so this is gonna be the hard part, is getting this piece in. I don't know how the hell that's gonna happen. My idea would be to remove this one for a moment, mm -hmm. get that in, and then we could kind of play yep, with it 100%. and pull it out. Are you gonna have to cut another big hole in I'm this one? I'm gonna have to cut an eight. Do you wanna do that hole. before you? Get that I want to piece see if I in. Can fit that in. Okay, to see if you need to, to make it bigger. Without having to remove the electrical for it. Because uh, I basically have to remove the electrical to get that in. Or you could just make it a little bit too big and then uh, That's put it. That's kind of the boat we're in at the moment. Yeah. Like we're trying to make it a little bit bigger, but there's still there? screw holes that have to go in. To like right, it, but you if you, you could like. Yeah. So. I think we'll get it. I think so too. I feel confident. I like your confidence. Yeah. It might be it's, false, but he's he's not <laughs> cocky. He's confident. There you go. Do it because don't I might have to like disconnect all the everything. Electrical. I think you're gonna have to kind of go through sideways. That's and what I was trying up. to do, but I don't think mm. I have enough room right now. It's a tricky piece, and this is probably why we haven't fully tackled this yet. Obviously, getting the window in was a big step to make sure that we weren't building something that we were gonna have to rip out because it was leaking still. Um, but just all the little tricky intricacies of getting this kitchen to be absolutely perfect in a teeny tiny space. Happy to have Eric's help for sure. And then me and Everly and Jen can just hang out inside. And the crocheter. I'm trying. <laughs> Jen's on her fourth attempt at a white hat. And I think she's gonna get it this time. Do you believe in yourself? No. Nope. <laughs> it's a problem, my yarn keeps. Oh, it's like too skinny. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. hey, you happy about? I always feel like, okay, wait. All dogs are boys and all cats are girls. What are you right. going with, bumblebees? Hey, that's not A. Oh, boring. <laughs> boring. What do you want, the other? These guys giving me a hard time. Last time I did it, I did a sun with a sun and a moon with a moon yeah, and a star with a star. I, I thought it would be easier. 
So unfortunately, you do have to disconnect all the electrical. Did you, uh, you making another A? You making a B? Yeah, another A. Okay, cool, Unless perfect. you need it. No, no, no. Give me another A. It'll just make it easier. Hey. Hey. It's just E H. B. That's a Canadian A. That's a Canadian A. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's A. What's an American A? Shoot. A. A. <laughs> just what? the letter A. Oh. <laughs> the the you boring call one. <laughs> when you're on like a diamond, right? Like a baseball diamond. Uh huh. And you and you kick a ball and then you run around the bases. What do you uh, call hold that? On. No, no, but like. What's the sport? What's the sport called? Like kickball. There you go. What do you think Canadians call it? I don't know. Just Foot, take a well, guess. Let's random see. guess. Footy. Uh, okay, no. <laughs> That's a good guess. <laughs> That's pretty good. They call it soccer baseball. Oh, wow. It is very literal. That's weird, yeah. Because <laughs> you're playing soccer and baseball combined. Here we go. Here we go. Will it fit? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Like a glove. It looks perfect. How much room do we have on the back side? Is it like it feels really snug up here? Yeah, like uh, like an eighth of an inch on each side. Oh, beautiful! Actually, Perfect. not even with the I don't know. There's a little edge that comes out a little bit. It's like right oh, oh, we got perfect. Yeah, dude, look at us. All right, now the hard part: line it back up. Oh snap! Moment of truth, dude. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm not. Yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. I don't think these matter so much, but it's smoking back there. Where? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, we got nothing. Something's missing here. Nice. All right, so the heater just kicked on. We were really confused for a second there because we were getting no power. We rewired everything exactly the same, but for some odd reason, we weren't getting power. We realized we didn't push down that resettable breaker enough. Now we could screw this bad boy in, we could get all this stuff buttoned up, and then we're on to the next thing. But first, it's dinner time. We're gonna leave the boys to their devices here. Jen and I are gonna head to the hardware store, the oh, Homie yeah. Depot. <laughs> Got a couple things to pick up to so that they can finish the project today. And then the kitchen will be basically done. Look at you, baby. Are you okay, thought. baby? I, I, I Girls trip, plus Paco. Eyes forward, mister. Right, eyes on the road, Paco. Uh, you you guys see where we're going. going. I think I found the new thing I like to do. It's make designs in wood. We're gonna glue this bad boy up now. We also had a great big nap and some Jersey mics, which was pretty good. And now the guys are basically finished with the kitchen and they're moving on to this finishing piece up top. Uh, Thanks, Crux and Beta. You guys showed us a nice hot glue really? gun trick. Mm -hmm. I think I saw that they on had, videos. They had the Beta to the Crux, man. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Okay, next up, this one. You want to explain how we know each other? Uh, sure. How do we know each other? <laughs> I assume from your channel. Yeah, so I think what happened was is not only did they see the channel, but we were live and they started chatting with us and we found out that Eric was a police officer and we asked him if he wanted to come on our podcast and we had a big long chat about like van life and being a police officer and mm -hmm. he was also interested in getting into van life so it was like right. a perfect opportunity for us to actually chat about 
how police officers feel, you know, what's the right way to go about, you know, maybe a situation if you were, you know, faced with the law and That's maybe you right. were parked in the wrong spot or something. How do you react with that? And how would a cop normally react? So that way we could get into like the psychological bit of what it's like to be a police officer and a van lifer at the same time, um, which I thought was a really great podcast. Yeah, it was. That was like years ago. That was at least three years ago, at yeah. least, if not more. I'd have to go back and look at the podcast, but yeah, it's been... At least three years. Bit. And we were on it, you know, again later, but yeah, that was our first, I guess that was our first interaction and then we just kind of... Yeah. Connected well, from there. And then I think uh, what happened was is we were... Hold on, my in, baby's fell over. We were in, she did fall over. <laughs> we were in uh, Utah, was it? When we met up? Uh, yeah, we met up in Utah. Yeah. Met up in Utah. And we were in Colorado, you guys were somewhere. And uh -huh. we decided like, hey, let's meet up in Utah and do some snowboarding. Yeah, well, that was one of the things that we had in common was we loved to be on the mountain and ski and snowboard. And so we made that happen. And the first interaction was great, and which turned into us hanging out. Uh, and then after that, now we're friends. And yeah. we, we meet up whenever we can. And it's always a good time. And now I have somebody that actually like genuinely knows what they're doing helping me. I mean, so. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We call that professional amateur, but. Yeah, we're, we're winging it, but we at least know how to use the tools and right, what yeah. the tools are for and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's great having somebody around that has the tools as well as the ability to help. So we do yeah. appreciate you guys. I appreciate you being down here but also like, i like helping you out and and it's also nice to have somebody who's also like has the same type of mindset and, and a diy type person and just get it done so yeah yeah hell cool. yeah i appreciate it we appreciate you <laughs> thank you guys three two one oh. wow that looks so much better oh 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 it's magic you know all right, so Eric and Jen, Defining Adventure, have their own beautiful rig. We're going to take you inside right now. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. I keep, like, I got to be careful with her head when I'm walking around like this. I'm like, she hasn't popped anything, but it's very dangerous. Okay, so how long have you guys been in this van? Forever. Forever. Uh, I'd say about three years. Okay, cool. And you've gone hot, cold, east, west... Yep. All over. All over. Where's your favorite destination? Colorado. Yeah. Snowboarding? <laughs> yep. Good. Yep. All right. So what I wanted to show you guys is their amazing fridge setup, which actually we remodeled our van to be like their van. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> we can open it. You can open it. Mm-hmm. Or you can take, take it both off. off. So smart. Great right for cleaning. Yeah, and perfect for prepping because it's right there with the cabinet. Yes. And then so they have the ice co too, which is amazing. And we actually bought, we got the exact same fridge that they had and set our kitchen up the exact same way that they have it set up because we were hanging out with them for like a week. And I was like, this makes so much more sense yeah. than what we had. How did you guys come up with this? Um, lots of storage underneath. Uh-huh. Super important. And just if you're prepping here, you can prep here too. Nice. It's great. Perfect. We just liked it. And do you like the ice cow? Yes. <laughs> it works great. We've never had an issue with it. You've got your beautiful sticker collection instead. I feel like every van has to have a sticker collection, and the ice cow is a great place to put yours. Oh, the puppies! Oh, the puppies! Do you have any big trips planned? Next trip? Um, no, we were going to try to sneak up to Vermont, but that time slipped away. Yeah. So we'll see where our next destination will be. But it's always ready for you when it's you're ready, ready to go. Always ready. Just got to clean up a little bit. Yeah, that's all good, though. And load the fridge. Yes. <laughs> be sure to check the link below. We've got a discount code for Ice Co. down there. And as you can see, they've been rocking with theirs for three and a half years. No problems at all. It's a really great refrigerator. You're going to love it in your rig, too. Something I feel like I have to say is, like, Alex did not think we were going to get as much done as we got done. And we literally got everything done. And more! And more that we thought we were going to get done. So I'm, like, weird shadowed, so I'm sorry about that. But <laughs> I felt like it felt good for that, that little talk right there. <laughs> so not only is this kitchen going to be all complete. Look at this. Oh. 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 Wait. 
We're also, Jen's gonna help me make curtains for the front so we don't have to just use cardboard boxes anymore. Can you believe we need cardboard boxes? <laughs> oh my goodness. In with the new, out with the old. Look at that, it looks professional. Look at that on the camera. What? Yo, we got the new window in. We got the galley in. We got this guy up here. Not bad, day and a half. Thank you, bro, that was killer. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, Anytime. I appreciate it. Today, we are getting to some of the pretty stuff that I've been wanting to do for months and months and months and months. It's finally happening. Step one. gonna take you right and do you right. What are you doing to these dogs, Mike? Right, baby. <laughs> Step one, we gotta take this door off. The infamous cat door. Yeah, Alex's favorite door. <laughs> I hate this. This I know, that's why I said it. is gone today. But Frank made a really good point that we actually still need a vent gap there because there's actually a heat vent that goes into the bathroom and when the doors close, the bathroom gets so hot. So we want the airflow between the bathroom and the space. And also if you take a shower in there, it could like help the, you know, help the dry help out. Dry, yeah. So we're gonna leave the gap, but we're gonna make it not a cat door that gets in the way of the door actually closing. Cold door. Cold door. I got one hand on it. Other hands on my camera. <laughs> I got one hand in my pocket. And the other one smoking a cigarette. Hold my go, bro. Bye, cat door. What are you gonna call it now? Are you gonna call it vent door? <laughs> okay, we'll have to come up with a new name for the door. Oh, uh, handsome guy. This is a guy who hasn't showered in two days. <laughs> Me either. So you guys love these tiles? They're about to be here. So the reason for taking it out is so that I can get these kind of corners here. Ah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be And when the big good. seam is on, like I don't want the corner to be hidden. So far I'm feeling really good about the tiles. I've done all of the big easy ones and now it's all the details. But then here we're gonna need like a cut up one, cut up one. This kind of angle here, little ones at the bottom. So, the easy part is done, which probably took a couple hours. <laughs> and now is the tricky part. And luckily, Everly is sleeping, and Jen is so amazing, she's taking care of her inside. So, I'm really grateful for you, Jen, and for both of you, defining adventure. Because mm -hmm. Eric and Frankie are off to the hardware store to pick up the couple extra things we need. Hey guys, the infamous cat door. Some of you love it. Some of you hate it, but I'm in the hate it camp, so it's going in the trash. Bye. You want to keep it? My daughter's got is the crazy cat lady. All right, it's yours now. <laughs> We're gonna do something. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. No more cat door, baby. <laughs> Nicely done, dude. Okay, everything's looking really good. I'm gonna finish up these window curtains that Jen and I made yesterday, mostly Jen. She's amazing. So we've got these buttons and I have to smash them. Got it? That's easy once you know how to do it. it? My first attempt was a lot worse. This is actually pretty quick and easy if you're like, Windows covered. We have to give a huge thank you to Defining Adventure, Eric and Jen, you guys are so amazing. Let's have a look at all of the progress we made in just a few short days. And yeah, we're driving, we're like actually leaving. So let's do this quick. We've got our beautiful kitchen. All of the tiles. This is how we tour. We got some tiles up here also. All of the floorboards, the white there. Ooh, our beautiful window covers. 
And of course the back window's in and as you can see it's raining and the window is not leaking. So this was a very successful couple of days. We're so grateful to you guys Defining Adventure for all of your help and hospitality. Everly is gonna miss you and so are we. Now we are heading to Florida. We've got a half a country to go. So stay tuned for the next video. Let's get down there.